Welcome to Media Beat on MediaBistro.com. I'm Danya Blaze, and we're joined again by Devon Franklin, who is the Vice President of Production for Sony Pictures and Columbia Pictures. Devon, again, thanks for sticking around. My pleasure. Glad to be here. So um, I was reading recently that Netflix is the biggest source of internet traffic in the U.S. now. Mm. And I know that's affecting your business right now. With, with all of the competition for eyeballs, I mean, people's home studios are tricked out like crazy. Yeah. And you got Netflix streaming. A lot of people don't feel the need to go to the theaters anymore. What mm -hmm. are you doing or what is uh, Sony Pictures doing to deal with the digital age and the change in viewing habits? You know, I mean, it is certainly a, a challenge, you know, just because so much of our economics of the business were built upon people's viewing habits, specifically as related to home video and how people were consuming. Mm -hmm. So now that that consumer behavior is changing, we're doing our best to try to adapt to that because every film that mm -hmm. we make is based upon a set of financials, which is dependent mm -hmm. on predicting how a consumer will behave in those ancillary markets. And so mm -hmm. now that that behavior is changing, it affects our financials, it affects how we're making films. We have to make films for a lower price point um, without sacrificing quality. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest challenge that we you know, faith, face, quite honestly, is we still have to make great movies. You know, and we can't let the, di the dialogue about what's going on you know, with Netflix and the, and the digital media world and all this stuff mm -hmm. affect making great films because audiences still around the world go to great films. The audience is saying, hey, we still are going to go and, and pay for the movie going experience. It just requires us to make sure that when they get there and they pay that money, and if it's for family, you know, that they are getting their money worth. So that part of it goes back to us and puts the onus on us, continue to make great stories, continue to make movies that people want to go see. Because even when you have the most tricked out home theater, it doesn't replace the experience you have when you go to uh, your local theater uh -huh. or you go to the movie house and you see that movie on the big screen. You just can't replace it, but we certainly are being mindful of those that want to stay home. We're doing our best to try to figure out a way to take advantage of that. Another recent report said that um, movie viewership in theaters is down among young people, mm -hmm. among the 12 to 24 demo, which I'm, you know, is the big demo. Is there anything that you guys are doing to capture those young audiences? Yeah, I mean, you know, when you look at, in terms of every, st every studio has an annual slate, right? And that slate is made up of the different types of films that they release. So part of it, the idea is that with, with our slate, to make slate, sure that slate is diverse enough. Yeah. For the young audience, you know, with movies, you know, we have coming up next year like Spider-Man and Men in Black 3. You know, the whole plan is we believe these films are already, there's going to be a predisposed awareness mm -hmm. and desire to see these films. And we're aggressive when it comes to our social media plan and marketing our films and making sure that we are in there and we're tapping into that audience um, because that's where they are. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many different ways and different things that are competing for that demo's attention. So it's the onus on us is to make sure that when we go after them, we have the product they're going to want to see. Well, Devon, again, thank you for coming thank you through. Thank you for having De me. Devon is the man behind so many hit films, The Pursuit of Happiness, The Karate Kid remake, Hancock. You've probably seen his work, so it's been a pleasure seeing the man behind the hit movie. And make sure you go get his book. It's called Produced by Faith. It's in stores now. This has been Media Beat on MediaBistro.com. <laughs>